Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Chesapeake Hillside, that's where we're at, that's the station. And uh, did that guy just give us a cheeky little glance at the camera? It's busy, isn't it? Well, I mean, this platform has always been busy, or the platform it used to be. The question is, how busy does the other platform get? Our brand new line, of course, the electrified line. Heading all the way up into those hills there that we can see. And uh, today, we're going to take a little break from trains. And we're going to switch to buses, long distance buses. Providence, is it? Yeah, Providence doesn't have a train station in any way, shape or form. I'd like to leave it like that. It's just something different for the map. Every other city has a train station now. Every other city has some form of delivery except for... Beaumont, I think. They don't have any uh, truck deliveries yet. They will do. And uh, so we're going to work on a, uh, a few long distance bus routes from each of our cities. We'll start off with a couple. I think the best one to start with would be Palmdale and Phoenix, as we already have their road network sort of sorted out. And you'll be pleased to know. Well, firstly... I upgraded the bus, it were not upgraded, repurchased them because they're all looking a bit rough. And I added sidings to our station just to fill it out a bit and give it a bit more character and uh, an excuse to put loads of signals in because lights everywhere is brilliant. I left the grass in, why not, it's a siding. And uh, ooh, Chesapeake is looking rather nice now, isn't it? Yeah, let's have a look at those charts again. Up, up and away. That's what I'm going to say there. This should have uh, increased every city's connection across the map. It would be nice to go in and take a look at Phoenix, since we will be working in Phoenix as well today, as far as buses go. Let's get a bus running, shall we? Where do we want this? This is nice and quiet, this side, isn't it? Right, you're going in there. Let's see what sort of monstrosity we can build here. We definitely want many platforms and we definitely want them quite long because intercity travel. I mean, we could have the intracity stopping here. Is that going to be enough? This end anyway. This would be Palmdale. This could go to Palmdale. No, they're all going to Providence, aren't they? We're only going to have one bus stopping here it's the providence bus should we leave our options open we'll put some uh we'll put some bus stops in here some bus <laughs> bus shelters even yeah, oh you can't put them that side though or do you want to that's the question yeah yeah i don't mind them i guess we could have the smaller ones down here perhaps i kind of like that Oh, they're all wonky, aren't they? What's going on there? Did I miss a dot? No, that's just how they sit. Oh, I see. I see. So you do them that side, like that. Well, given that it is possibly only going to be Palmdale, I guess we could do that then, couldn't we? I don't like the idea of the buses joining right after this uh, mega junction. So, I think what we could do is have them join in up this end. Plus, it adds a bit of uh, variety, doesn't it, to bus stops and how they work. There we go. Something like that. And then we just cut that off. There we go. That's kind of lovely, isn't it? That's going to be for our local buses. are going to drive up that way. Get rid of the bulldozer before you just destroy everything you just did. I sort of like this. I mean, it's lacking in coverings and possibly varieties in our uh, in our bus shelters there. Uh, it would have been nice to have one long, big one, wouldn't it? This will do, won't it? It'll be lovely. Yeah, and then our buses, since they're only going that way, well, let's get it on curvy, can uh, scoot off the highway into the bus depot up there. Yeah, there we go. Let's get some official episode in, shall we? Well, first off, I'm going to flatten it a little bit. Much bigger, please. Uh, just around where we uh, head off from the, the highway there. And up to the... Up to here, I guess. 
we can official episode right after it though can't we there we go and then lovely official episoding the world as usual it just feels better once I've done that everything seems to sit nicer on the terrain and while we're here did you see the update over on Twitter from Urban Games they have given us a little sneak peek of one of the model updates and it was a bus not only have they improved the models I'm going to try and find the image so we're either going to look at the scenery which is Phoenix over there in the distance or I'm going to be able to find a picture that they posted on Twitter and just splash that up for us. Hopefully you can see this and I found it, but uh, they do look much better. And what made me happy is they've finally changed how windows work on vehicles. So all the default uh, vehicles will suddenly have nice windows. You won't get that X-ray vision. That in itself is an update for me that I'll be waiting for. When is it? Early March? March 9th, I want to say. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so we've got our big bus depot in. Providence, on the other hand, is going to have to have something like this, but much larger. Because they want every city. We're going to do it. We're going to have every city. I guess we could have buses passing through, like really long distance buses. We'll see. Right, Providence. You're quite a pain to build in, aren't you? So this is a good thing that we've decided that Providence is the one that doesn't get a train station. Yes, we can hook into there. If we ever needed a spur to come off, then we can and have some sort of drop off for them. But they do sort of have access to the Western Corridor. Do you know, I can't help myself. Look at the state of that. We haven't done anything with this really since we first made it. We've still got the old semaphores down here. It's sort of lovely. Oh no, we've got some new signals as well. There we go. Mix and match. It's underfunded. Yeah, there's probably a newspaper article about uh, why, first off, Providence only has buses or will have buses and not trains. And why, why the uh, Western Corridor is neglected. It's not that we don't have the funds either. It's more that we... Uh, just forgot about it, or I forgot about it. We do have some new signalling down here, though, in places. Come on, I haven't completely left it alone. Right, anyway, Providence. It's going to be out of town, isn't it? And then we'll have a bus service. So I guess there's got to be one heading up into the industries there. I sort of like what they're doing here. It's not terrible, is it? No. This is the main road, so this is where we want it. And out of town. So somewhere along here. Uh, I feel like we need to connect this back up. Just for the sake of connecting it back up. Because it is a permanent fixture at the moment. As we've disabled. I guess we can go around the trees. We've disabled the old uh, dynamic industries. For now. We may turn it on again. A little bit later. I'll uh, be updating the save game. Once I've added these bus routes in. And monitored the map today. Probably uh, not after this episode, but the next one. What do you want, Grand? You want uh, road buildings. We're going to go full on with this, aren't we? This is going to need... How many towns on the map? Bring out our town high score table. Town statistics. There's not many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so there's eight total. So you're going to need seven platforms. I like that. Yeah, we can find ways to get uh, our buses through. Three and three, so we only need one more, and then that's it. And we do want it, uh, I guess, off the road a little bit would be nice. We'll make it fairly massive as well. And we'll have, uh, we'll have it run through. We'll see how the buses look when they're doing this, but... Uh, oh, I guess we could have some coming this way and some coming that way, couldn't we? make some sort of one-way system through there i'm going to extend it until there's double shelters on the platforms there we go we've got double shelters on the platforms we're going to ruin it with some buildings unless they all sit together nicely or is that it is that maximum what's going on there oh 
You know what I haven't done? You didn't finish these off. There we go. I was very confused. Oh, look at that. They all sit together. That's nice. This side, a bit close, but we can have one like that. And then a few along the side that are smaller. I know, they're all a bit samey and a bit uh, copy and paste, but they work. These could be shops or whatever. They don't have to be waiting rooms, do they? I mean, it's a lot, but how many people can wait there? 640 can meander. Did I miss? I'd missed one, didn't I? This isn't actually one. Yeah, we've only got six grand. By the power of editing, we now have <laughs> seven stations, uh, seven stations, seven platforms, and an in and out. Do you know I'm thinking of food again, don't you? Because I said in and out. But anyway, we got you in. You got a nice big bus depot, bus station. What roads are you having? I guess we'll go street, city streets. Why not? Do I want that to curve round? It's kind of lovely. Curved around is nice. Same for this one then. That's going to be like that. It does mean we could possibly head off that way. Yes. If I bring that up that way. I don't know whether they're going to build out here. But we'll see. That can run into there. That can run out that way. And that might be how we get down to uh, Chesapeake. Off that road. But for now we're going to. Make it look like it's uh, preparing for expansion. A bit of city expansion for Providence. Because they might expand. I mean, these buses are going to be ridiculously busy. And we're nowhere near going to have the capacity to carry the amount of people that might want to head to Providence. New line. And you're going all the way to Phoenix. That's it. Yeah, I don't mind you turning around there. Gives you plenty of room to swing around, doesn't it? Yeah, and if we have the little buses stop up there, that'll be fine as well. Well, yeah, we don't mind them swinging around. Yeah, so this is Providence to Phoenix. Did I spell Phoenix right? There's a first. I might have got in the habit of doing that. Perfect. We have a depot down over at Providence, don't we? In this area? Oh, we don't. Well, that's fine. Oh, yes, we can't get it going. We should make the bus service that heads into town, which I haven't accounted for, have I? I feel like I do want to run them in there, but I don't mind them stopping before it or after it. After it, wouldn't it? It would be down here somewhere. Uh, that's only one segment. We can't have two. No. Uh, so we'll put these. We'll put these like that. There we go. We can replace them. So we can have two lines that stop there. We'll put one in there. And then another one down here. This is going to go through. Uh, looks like the commerce area, doesn't it? In fact. There's not much residential going on, which is not surprising. Oh, we've got a truck stop right there. That's awkward. If we go down that way instead, if they build out this way, then it won't be too bad. Is that slope too terrible? That's all right, isn't it? I don't mind that. We can run our other line down there. Well, do you know what we could do? Possibly is have this as a large road because it's for our buses and that would solve the bus stops I think yeah and then it heads out of town I know there's nothing going on down here and they've got big fancy uh, got a big fancy road just out in the middle of nowhere but it does work doesn't it right let's get rid of that before it confuses me and this one this one's going to head that way it's going to be a line as opposed to a circle, I think. Ooh, although, although, is this the one that's going to head up there? Well, we could have it as a circle, looking at the way this is laid out. We can head up this way, and we can do that and just go back that way. 
it will cater for everyone over here. This is just going to head out on that section. Then it will be there. And then it will be the opposite side to the truck stop heading back. But that's working so far. Then we have a stop there. Then you head that way. And then you do a loop up there. So it's just like a little figure of eight thing almost going on down that side. Now our other one is going to be heading that way, isn't it? It's probably going to get in the way of the trucks, but at this point I don't mind. That can go just after the, the crossing there. Well, actually, go a little bit further down there. If you're wondering when the game decides to replace a bus stop rather than put a another bus stop, although it would be nice to have like little laybys and stuff, but anyway, it doesn't. Yeah, if you're wondering why that happens, if uh, you're on a stray bit of road that has two... Here's a good example. There's a little crossover in the middle. These two nodes both can have bus stops separately from each other. But as soon as you put them within that, uh, within that section there, then it's replacing them. There you go. So if you ever wonder why that's a thing. Right, where's, the, where's this bus going? I guess this is going to do the reverse to this line we're already creating isn't it it's going to head up that way but be up this way somewhere very descriptive grand buildings right you go there and then you're you're heading around that way yeah that should be fine i mean it looks a mess at the moment hopefully i remember what i was thinking by the time we get this done right where are you heading are you gonna be a line. I think this one is going to be a line. Yeah, it's going to be there. It's going to be more direct as well, I think. Yeah, you're going to head right through up into the industrial area up here. And then, then how are you going to turn around? I don't want you flipping, really. So, not there. Well, kind of there. We want it going that way and then we scoot up and do a little circle up this hill oh i like that yeah do a little circle up the hill and then we'll have uh, oh that's a rough place to have a stop i would like it right on this corner at the top so we'll have this off the main road perhaps it's fairly flat up there isn't it <laughs> not really it's it's a bit hovery suspend disbelief please we're not here for how that scenery looks and that will be a good start i know we are not seeing to these guys much but well what could we do for them they want a sort of local service don't they a road down here do we want it down there that covers a lot doesn't it if they if they pick up run straight through that way and then share stops around here so they dive off and do that little circle and then head off down here and do a little circle there. Yeah, so they're, they're sending people out from this line, but they won't be sharing this. They can just walk around the corner, meaning we want that a little closer to the junction, don't we? Is this optimal gameplay? Mm, kind of. <laughs> it gives them plenty of... Uh, Access. Oh, we've got new cabooses. Is look at that Frisco caboose. Don't get uh, distracted with trains. I promised buses, and uh, that's what we're gonna have. Okay, you go round there, you go round there. That will be the joint one. We stop just there, so you've got access. Ooh, do I want to do that? I, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna have where's our other line up there oh, yeah i'm gonna have a a couple of short stops for this one right next to each other so that you can you can get off the bus here and get to either side without crossing the road sort of because you can get off there as well and walk around it's a bit far isn't it it's not pleasant i would like to see just how the ai use this more than anything Whenever I play this game, that's what I like to do. I like to mess with the AI 
setting up different uh, styles for them to use usually on the same map as well we've got a fairly varied bus layout for all of our cities haven't we now and not too many share the same style and I, I kind of love what you're doing here Providence it's lovely isn't it none of it looks very North American perhaps one day we'll get like uh, matching scenery for each area so uh, yeah Asian themed North American themed South American themed UK themed lots of bricks red brick anyhow should we get these buses set up you're going to need a bus stop now a uh, bus depot oh there is one how did I not see that I came over here and I went, oh, they've got one over here and just completely ignored that sat right there. Well played. Well, we know where we're going to get our buses from. Let's set up three lines for them, which is apt, I guess, because that's how many we have in Phoenix, which is our first connection. Right, bus line one. Let's see if I can remember what on earth I was getting up to. You are going around there. I think I've got it. Yeah, there we go. And then you dart off down this way. Lovely. Yeah, we do stop, unfortunately, on the truck route. Uh, I don't think there's any way to avoid that without having four-lane roads. Uh, if we had a four-lane road running down the centre, that would kind of work. Providence. Oh, this would be one, wouldn't it? Home doesn't work. Right, one. Providence. I don't know why it's one. It would probably be more two in this one, one, wouldn't it? Oh, I've clicked off it. We've lost it. Where's all my ones? Providence. Actually, see what you can see. That narrows it down a little bit. This will be two. And just simple for their buses. Is this what colour we're having? We're having cyan for Providence. All right. I mean, yeah, we're in the blues over here. We go, uh, or a darker blue. Yeah, we'll go with the dark. No, I've got lots of dark blues. Purple? I don't know what happened to my voice. It's not that terrible. Uh, dark blue. Pick a colour, Grand. Right, I picked as a blue and edited out me contemplating the world on uh, colour palettes. That went on for a good two minutes. One of our lines is complete. We've got uh, one running the opposite way round. It should be. Yeah, that one's going direct up to that end. That should be right so far. It's either going to be terrible or amazing. I'm really excited to see what they do. How are you going to use this, guys? Right, and then you... No, that's, that's not right. Birch Street, no. You've got to dart off this way, haven't you, on the way back. There we go. I wonder if we could uh, divert our trucks through there. That might work. Yeah, I will toy with that. Right, we're good there. This is number one. And then finally, number three is up here. And I guess we'll start there. Green. <laughs> Do you know what? All right. I mean, sure. Green's fine. Nothing wrong with green. I do like green. I might make it a slightly less luminous though. Let's go with uh, that green. That's pleasant. I think we've got that's the same as the the trains over there. Similar. Doesn't matter though, does it? There we go. We've got a a bus route that sort of cuts through town. I don't know what I'm doing with that. It's just uh, it's a pleasant menagerie of colors that's animals isn't it three providence done pleasant colors it looks like i'm playing a game of uh, mastermind where you have to put the pegs in and hide them from whoever you're playing and they have to guess uh, what colors you've got behind your little screen anyway who wants a game of mastermind are we done i think we're done it's time to get buses on the local buses are going to be the same. Oh, no. No, what else you got to do? Yes, put the buses on here. That's fine. Uh, how many stops did we have? Get your lines up. That one is 
nine. So we're going to go eight buses, I think, on all of them. Yeah, eight buses would be fine. Eight buses on all of them. We need to see what we can see. Buy vehicles. Eight buses. Uh, we've got to remember the colours. We'll go one. This has got to be line three then, hasn't it? Yeah, there we go. Line three. We do have a garish cyan, apparently. So that's what you're going to be. Is it that one? I don't want to colour them that colour, though. It's just too bright. So you go the darker one, and that's one. And yes, buy vehicles. We can stay over here. Another eight. <laughs> you suddenly got a lot of buses, haven't you, Providence? I mean, they could be just default colour then, can't they? These ones, there we go. And you are Providence too. Now, they should all have vehicles on them. That's the plan. See what you can see. There we go, lovely. Close enough. <laughs> We've only got four trucks delivering bread. I tell you what, have another truck. I don't know whether you need another truck. Here comes our convoy of buses. We all know which lines they're going on because of their colours. It obviously won't look like that for long. There's possibly too many buses. Ah, it's fine. Right, we need to adjust the routes of this one. Uh, oh, that is number one, is it? I thought this was number one. No, that's number... What are you, then? Oh, you're number two. Right, so number one. After Sycamore Street, could you pop in there? And, well, I'll tell you what. If you want to do it like that, I don't mind. Except go on three, then. Oh, it's lovely. I, yeah, if you want to do that, that's lovely. Uh, half makes me want to send this round now. <laughs> the uh, the other service. Although they might not interact too much. Oh, that's... Yeah, you do that. I don't mind it. Right, you're, are you off already? That's fantastic. Right, and then the other one must be three. Yeah, there we go. Manage the line. So after William Street, I, you could use this one. After the William Street, stop five. Could you go? Let's see what you do. Yeah, not not that. I'm gonna say. I mean, I don't mind you going around and about, but you might as well stop at this. Why are you ignoring that stop? That stop is fine. Could you go on one? That's kind of lovely. They're going to dance a bit, aren't they? Uh, game. You do you, and we'll see how terrible that looks. I mean, it doesn't leave them much room, does it? At least their wheels don't touch. I guess I guess it's just low enough that they don't scrape all their underside when they turn around. It's fine. It's fine. Right, should we get some buses underway? I quickly saved it because new mods. I have tested them, but you never know. It's not that I don't trust the author or the mod. It's uh, so I don't have to do that entire episode again. That would be... That's a lot of work we did setting up an entire new city. Ready for a... Uh, these. Yeah, we'll go with GMC PD3751 Greyhound Silversides. These are the new buses. How many are we having? Should we start with six? I'm going to start with six. I mean, they'll all be together to start with, but they should spread themselves out, and it shouldn't be too terrible. We're going to leave them in their default colours, and we're going to put them on Phoenix to Providence. There we go, guys. These are the uh, the mods we've got now. It looks a bit bright. There's a lot of there's a lot of glow going on. Oh dear. Well, could you go back to the depot and have your front end fixed? This is nice, isn't it? A bit of uh, long distance bus servicing. Oh, it's a stop at the back. The doors do open. The wheels are shiny. I don't know if they have aging on them or anything like that. They, they're they a bit matching tin canny, aren't they? Like our trains we had up there. What was it with America and with the corrugated iron style? It's iconic, though, isn't it? That's what I like. Yeah, when I think American buses, 
I think these. I had one as a kid, a, a model one of a Greyhound bus, one of the old style. I loved it. Oh, you got paint on your wheels. Is that what that is? Well, away he goes. I want to show you the doors opening because it's rather cool. Look at that. Little stairs come down. Oh, he wasn't in there for long. Yeah, the, the little stairs come down. There you go. He might stay there a bit longer and it opens right out. Isn't that fantastic? What I would have loved is those ones that they have in the US where they kind of reverse out and then head off. They're like diagonal or diagonalish, probably more straight. They're slightly staggered, aren't they? Yeah, but uh, we'll make do before installing loads of mods. I just tried to give you a bit of variety on, on what buses you could use because it's a bit quiet, isn't it, for quite a while. You've only got these, and uh, there's no... These are skinny. Is that how skinny these are? Does anybody know what these look like in real life? How would they compare to... What are these? Managed vehicle. How would they compare to a twin coach 44S? Should they be chubbier, perhaps? I mean, they might be skinny. I don't know, does, does anybody know this bus? Or ridden on it at some point? I just love to see greyhounds running down here. Uh, I mean the, the the coach company, the bus company, not the not the actual animal, not the doggo. There we go. What's it like inside? Not the best angle. Get back here. Oh, we could sit on one of the seats. Texas? Oh, it was meant to be, guys. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Texas license plate. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I was going to get in one of the seats. I guess one of the front seats would be fine. R wrong way. Z and X, by the way, can tilt you up and down. Not sure about the flashing shadow there. Can we get back a little bit? <laughs> this is... We're in the luggage compartment. We're too tall. Get get down there. That's a good view. There we go. Perfect. Right, guys. We'll leave that as a cab ride. <laughs> Let's head forward. Ah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all, is it? Horn? I think it's just a fault horn, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad at all. In fact, I like that. We're just going to trundle, aren't we? I don't know what the top speed of this is. There we go, we've got a little bit of uh, window action out the side as well. Yeah, we're inside our Greyhound. You would see the, uh, the door open, I would imagine. I'm really looking forward to seeing how these new windows work in, uh, in Transport Fever in the update. That's for sure. Right. Guys, we got it set up. We'll come back and check on these. I think next time out then, it'll be uh, Thursday's episode. What we'll do is we'll have a bit of a catch up. We'll see how these buses are doing. So we'll start the episode. We'll go back over our oil and we'll see how the logs are doing. And then by the time we finish with that, looked at a few trains, which we haven't seen. So I guess we'll end with a, oh, we could ride a car up on our mountain railway uh, hilltop hillside railway if we can find someone willing is this uh yeah they're all a bit bunched up at the moment they will spread themselves out it is nice to see them on the roads though i love it now we're not building any freeways just yet i would like to wait until the concrete bridges are available so we're not having to delete and rebuild our freeway all the time our buses are running up here. Very multicoloured over at Providence. Multicoloured swap shop of buses. Oh, look at that. People are people are going. People are going to Phoenix. Well, I mean, we thought they might. But we will check up just on how many people are going to go to Phoenix. We might have to tweak the capacity of the buses. I just love the fact that we've got some. Right, let me go and see if... Uh, oh, we could just get on the train heading up that way. We haven't been up that way. And we get to go out of our station. Do we like that? 
Yeah. Oh, there's people. There's lots of people. There's 104 waiting to go on the Athens to Clearwater line. We're going to need more trains. Longer trains as well, probably. All right, guys. We're on board that train. And obviously, we didn't pick up 104 people. Uh, only 72 of them, as that's how many we can carry. So, a little more frequency and uh, a few more trains on this line. Maybe a couple more carriages? I don't know. Possibly. Bit stuttery. Do you know why this time? Yeah, we set up a whole bunch of new routes for people to think about. Or new connections for people to think about. The AI to think about. So yeah, I'm going to expect that to take a while to settle down. That might give us the chance we need to go and uh, relax a little bit and, and check the numbers next time out. So we've had three episodes of a big build as far as uh, our hillside railroad is concerned. A bit of a change of pace today with some bus action. And then next time out, we're back to the numbers a little bit. More scenery, I think. More sitting down and... And watching the network just do its thing. Hopefully we don't see any issues. We can tweak a few things here and there. Perhaps increase capacity on a few of our lines. Especially this passenger line. And maybe the Phoenix one as well. The Phoenix to... Uh, well, it's... Pa what is it? No, it's not Phoenix. Uh, it passes through Phoenix. It's the... Oh no, guys. Answers in the comments. What is the city right down... I wanted to say Maidstone. That is definitely not it. And I don't know why I said Maidstone. Don't know. It's it's left my brain completely. It's just vanished. We could be here until we get to uh, Beaumont at this rate. Before I remember. Oh yes. I added little uh, whistle boards to the uh, entrance and exits of tunnels. Unfortunately, this has a sad horn. But uh, for the trains... And locos that do have fancy horns, uh, they'll make a, a better sound for us. Guys, thank you for watching. Greyhounds are on the map and they're making their way from Phoenix to Providence and back again. Hope you enjoyed that one, guys. And until next time, take care.